Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I... I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip-off, so now I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, <laughs> but you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you? Talking about. Arthur's above a little stick up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said. Hey, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us. <laughs> well, I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes, you are a compulsive liar. No need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. <sighs> Come on, then, you miserable bastards. How you... Get wind of this, old man. We only been down here all of five minutes. Well... Oh man, or whatever the hell you've been doing, I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson, that's fine by me. Do us all a favor, head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it you scoped here exactly? Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. They switch outriders just north of here, but the front wagon's by itself for a stretch before the last run down in the roads. <laughs> I've been watching them. All right. We best hit it quick, Dan. Okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Oh, they'll be passing through the crop. Through's up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. Christ's sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. There! You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So you know him? <laughs> Who doesn't? I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around. 
and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay, why don't you check out around the back? Arthur, help me out here. Be nearly a thousand here. Shit! Hey! Think I see something! Oh, great. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah! Out of sight. Stay until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we uh, get some rest. Mm. Oh. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Let's try and get out of here. Hey, shit. Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Well, look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn! Mm -hmm. I ain't in there. Let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I... I... I why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? Go ahead. Go ahead. Tell me what you heard. I don't... I don't maybe I, I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. It ain't me. It better not be. All right. 
Cooperforth. Lo, go check out the, the bar. Sir. <clears throat> Place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside. I'll go round the back. Place looks empty to me. And the old guy up there is full of crap. I don't think they're here. Don't see any horses. Come on, let's head back. Boss! Place is empty! Shit! Looks like we're shooting our way out of here, fellas! You're gonna die here! Watch it, Charles! More on the right here! Where are they all coming from? Looks like Mr. Cornwall has gone and up to security! Yeah. 
Yeah, I'll do what you later. We got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got corn on our backs. It was an honest mistake. Hey, leave it. Come on, get out of here. Every man split up. Come on, run quick. Good luck, Johnson. Stay quiet and move.
Get him. Get him. Good looking horse there. If you want me to keep that overnight, there's room in the stable. I'm sure someone will want this. Good saddles is almost as important as a good horse. <laughs> hey, it costs more for a reason. All right. 
shot down. Take care of that nag. Come back and see me.
I need medicine. Damn. What happened to you? My inside is it all cold. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. I just tried that plan over there, and it was like a gunshot. Oh, the one with the pink flowers, tiny little bastard. Steer clear. Thanks, mister. I owe you my life. Some things you learn the hard way. Yeah, you can, yep. you can say that again. This is my camp. Get lost. Time for you to get the hell out of here. Ah!
Ah, hey, Arthur. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. So, tell me, is your people, uh, Jacobites or English lovers, Arthur? My people were peasants. We had no time for politics. My dad would say that no politics was politics. That old world bullshit, it ain't got no place here. Why? Because there ain't no judgment here. Most folks hate the Negroes, they hate the Redskins, the Jews, even us Irish. <laughs> you ain't so free of politics. I hate everyone just the same. Well, in that case, you're gonna want what I just found for us. What's that? I was riding around a couple of days back. I come across this old cabin. A couple of fuckers lazing about outside all liquored up. <laughs> I didn't think nothing of it. But then I come across this hunter down by the river. He tells me they're a stick-up crew. Says they hit a train a couple of days back near Emerald Ranch. Nice fella he was, shared a bottle we did. Then I robbed the bastard blind. <laughs> and you believed him? No reason not to. If he's right, it'll be a big haul for us. I saw three of them, maybe more, but I reckon you and me, we could take them real easy. All right. What the hell? Let's go check it out. <laughs> Them sons of bitches think they're mean. <laughs> they're about to get a lesson in mean. You just keep your cool, you hear me? Roy, follow me. How far is this place? Bit of a ride. Not too bad. Back up north to stretch. Not far from the state line. All right. So, what were you doing riding around up there anyway? Sniffing around, looking for a take. I got a long nose for these things. Dutch has always honored us to get out there and bring in money, ain't he? And rightly so. I ain't like some of them others back there, sitting around waiting to be told I go after it. I see you sitting around plenty. I mean, I don't need no coddling like the rest. Dutch knows my value to the cause, as from the moment I met him. You tried to kill him, if I remember the story right. And he kept me around, didn't he? He saw something in me, he said as much. I'm sure. Dutch is good at seeing things in people. And while we're talking about money, you are clear on how this works. We split half, other half goes to the gang. Dutch keeps all our savings hidden in a safe spot outside camp. Yeah, yeah, I know. How many times do you have to tell me? Well, what's that box by his tent for, then? Camp funds, supplies and the like. <laughs> in fact, you don't know that suggests you clearly ain't put much in it. I always pay me way, don't you worry. You're sure you scoped this place out right? Yes, see? That's why I wanted you along for this. You're still a doubter. I ain't just some dumb kid. I've lived a lifetime of shit already. And you sure don't keep it bottled up inside. What about that train job with the oil wagon? Made a good show in there, didn't I? You got knocked out. Ah, that's what you choose to remember. We got paid, we got out of there. Got knocked out in Blackwater, too, didn't you? <laughs> now that was bloody chaos. Did you get split off with Mac? Nope, didn't see him. I lost your boys at some point when he was getting out of town. They caught up with Mac a couple of days after. Davy was finished by the time we got up the mountains. Jenny didn't even make it that far. Those bounty hunters strung me up. Beat me, pull teeth, burn me feet. I didn't breathe a word about nothing, I swear. Good. And it's time folks stop giving Dutch a hard time about all that Blackwater business, if you ask me. The man's not a fortune teller. You can plan, you can use your head, but you never really know what you're walking into. Yep. Folks always want to blame someone when things go wrong. How far is it now? Not too much further. Better be worth it. Hey, you need this, Arthur. 
All right, that'll have to wait. We're nearly there. Hard left coming up. All right, it's going to be off the road up ahead. Up here, Morgan. Whoa. I want them to hear us coming. Here, I'll deal with them. Let's make sure we keep one of them alive to tell us where they stashed the money. Hope you know what you're doing. There's one of them outside. This is good. It is? Leave it to me. I'll do the talking. You hang back. Five seconds to get the hell off my property, boy. Uh, look, don't want no trouble. Just thought you might like to know we passed a big posse of lawmen headed this way. There were a dozen of them coming up east. What? Where? Right here. Oh. It's up, Arthur. Here come the rest of them. You saw what we did to your pals here. Okay, okay, I give up. Don't shoot. I ain't on. Tell us where you stash your money, and we'll let you live. Well, all right, all right, take it easy. Behind the, the wall in the bedrooms, if you stick your hand between the gap. All right, you go grab the money. I'll keep an eye on sunshine here. You know what? Just get the hell out of here and don't look back. Hey, right. this is more like it. Good work. Hey, what about my car? I found a place, didn't I? All right, here. But don't forget to give the camp its share. Supplies don't appear by magic, you know. All right, don't need the lecture again. I'll see you back at camp. Never know what folks got stashed. <laughs> Just got a few other places out there like this.
Time to go, boy. 